Well, hi everybody. Ms. Shawneen here from the Chris Lake Public Library. And I have a story time today about something that you might be afraid of. I know my sons are afraid of these spiders. Now these are not real spiders because I wouldn't hold them if they were real. <laughs> but do you think they look real? <laughs> well, oh, Louie thinks they're real. <laughs> they're not. But spiders are pretty great things. They actually eat other bugs, which you probably don't want in your house. And, and they're really cool. They have eight legs. <laughs> And they're really kind of amazing, aren't they? So the next time you see one, maybe you would appreciate it a little bit more. They can really do cool things. Have you seen their webs? So should we get started? I have two stories for you today. One is Arg Spider by Linda or Lydia Monk by Lydia Monk. And I really like this story. I hope you like it too. I also have The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carl. So let's get started. Arg Spider by Lydia Monk. Ooh, there's our spider. Hmm. I just want to tell you, I do have the book correctly. <laughs> it's really lonely being a spider. I want to be a family pet. This family's pet. Hmm. You ever heard of anyone who had a spider for a pet? I know. I'll show them what a great dancer I am. None of their pets can dance like me. Look at me. Watch me dance. Oh, I don't think they want to see the spider dance. Arg! Spider! Out you go! Oh, at least they picked him up nicely and put him outside. That was good. Oh, dear. I know. I'll show them how clean I am. None of their pets are clean like me. Now, look at that dog. He's pretty messy. Look at me, watch me wash. Do you think she's going to be happy about that? <laughs> Arg, spider, out you go. Oh, she went right down the drain. Oh dear, I know. I'll show them how easy I am to look after. None of their pets can feed themselves like I can. No dog and a cat and a gerbil you have to feed, right? <gasps> Look at me. Watch me eat. Ooh, can you see what they're eating? <laughs> Other bugs or bugs. Oh, my. Well, it's true. This sounds like a great pet. Your parents might want to consider one. Arg! Spider! Out you go. <laughs> oh, no. It's no good. This family will never want me. I'm going to go and live all alone in the backyard. Look out here, everybody. Ooh, I wonder what the spider did. <gasps> Look at the sparkly webs. That spider is so clever. Maybe she'd make a good pet. Well, look at all those webs. They really are cool. Look, they do want me. Look at me, watch me ride. Look at me, watch me shop. Look at me, watch me swing. Oh, wow, they're having such a great time with their spider pet. I'm a real, true, proper pet. In fact, I'm so happy with my new family. I think I'll introduce them to all my friends. Oh, look at you. The spider is on a leash. <laughs> Oh, wow. <gasps> Arg! Spiders! Oh, that's a lot of spiders. 
I don't think I can handle that many spiders. Could you? That, look at all those spiders. You could freeze this and, and, and you could try to count them all. I'm not sure. Wow. And that is <laughs> the end. <laughs> One spider I could handle. That many? I don't think so. <laughs> Did you like that story? Were you scared? <laughs> no, I know you weren't. You're so brave. Do you think that we could sing the classic spider story of the itsy bitsy spider? Now, can you take your fingers and line up your thumb with your pointer and your other thumb with your other pointer? And we're gonna do the itsy bitsy spider. Are you ready? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Should we try that again? Are you ready? <laughs> Here we go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Yay! <laughs> did you sing with me? I hope you did. Well, I have another story for you, and it's The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carle. And this book was always a favorite of my sons when they were little, so I hope you like it too. Here we go. The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carle. Hmm. I wonder what this is. Early one morning, the wind blew a spider across the field. A thin, silky thread trailed from her body. The spider landed on a fence post near a farmyard and began to spin a web with her silky thread. Hmm. Nay! said the horse. Want to go for a ride? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Moo, moo, said the cow. Want to eat some grass? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Ma, ma, bleated the sheep. Want to run in the meadow? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Oh, and her web's getting bigger. Ma, ma, said the goat. Want to jump on the rocks? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Oink, oink, grunted the pig. Want to roll in the mud? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Woof, woof, barked the dog. Want to chase a cat? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Meow, meow, cried the cat. Want to take a nap? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Quack, quack, called the duck. Want to go for a swim? The spider didn't answer. She had now finished her web. She's all done. Cook a doo doo doo, crowed the rooster. Want to catch a pesky fly? 
and the spider caught the fly in her web just like that. Wow. Who, who, asked the owl, who built this beautiful web? The spider didn't answer. She had fallen asleep. It had been a very, very busy day. And that is the end. Well, I hope you have a new appreciation for spiders today. I hope, I hope you liked our stories today, or my stories today. I hope you liked my stories today. And I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you soon. Maybe not you. Bye-bye. <laughs>